Welcome to the Grumo Podcast, a weekly concoction of irreverence, humor, and science designed to nourish your mind and brighten your day. My name is Miguel Hernandez, and in today's episode, I'll explain why I think most modern art is crap and what should you do about it. Are you ready? Let's do it. I think I finally figured it out. After 40 years meandering over the crust of this magma ball, some things start to make sense. Maybe that's one of the few advantages of growing older. Our ability to appreciate what we experience at a deeper level to gain greater resolution. A few years ago, my wife and I did a three-month trip around Spain. We visited several museums, including El Prado, Reina Sofia, and of course, the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, my natal city. I noticed most museums had a section dedicated to modern art. I don't really understand modern art. What I do understand is what I feel when I experience it. With most modern art, I felt an acute visceral reaction. Anger. Growing up, I was a very emotional kid. Rainy days would make me depressed. I couldn't handle losing. I took everything personally. A few times, my mom found me stuck inside a garbage bin. Deeply concerned, my mom asked, Miguelito, what are you doing there? I would reply, whimpering, I feel like a potato peel, and potato peels belong in the garbage. (sighs) That's when I was five years old, and I could fit inside our kitchen garbage bin. Now I'm 40. That's many years developing an emotional shield that allows me to handle life like a somewhat well-adjusted citizen. You could say that today I am more in control of my emotions, but of course, they're still there. It's just a lot harder to get to them. The occasional sappy movie or lately listening to the backstory of some of the participants in American Ninja Warrior will trigger an uncontrollable flood of tears for about 12.7 seconds. But modern art? How can it pierce through this impregnable 40-year-old shield? Because I finally understood that art cannot be analyzed. Art cannot be measured. Art cannot be explained. Art can only be felt. The greater the art, the more powerful emotions will evoke. Unfortunately, this also applies to shitty art. Of course, not all modern art is crap, but a lot is. For some, contemplating what for me is an insult to humanity, a waste of expensive real estate, or simply a royal piece of poop, is instead a transcendental, orgasmic experience. Great artists are masters at manipulating our emotions via their opus. That's a great power. That's a great responsibility. But you know what? You're also an artist. There can be art in everything we do, be it our work, music, design, coding, sports, science, lovemaking, or even how we tie our shoes. And because in one way or another, we are all artists, That means we're all responsible to create art that evokes beautiful emotions. So go out there and make good art. It will be hard. It will consume your entire life. But the universe will love you for it. And me too. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to it, rate it, and share it with your friends. To listen to previous episodes, just visit grumo.com. That is G-R-U-M-O dot com. Thanks for listening. My name is Miguel Hernandez, and this was the Grumo Podcast.